Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Wednesday. Okay, I said this in all of the other videos, but since we're on Up and Adam channel two, a special almost happy birthday to my mother. It's tomorrow. Um, if you guys don't know, my mom and my dad are like legitimately my best friends. I shared that with you guys. Even my mother-in-law, I love them all so much. I really, my God don't even know where I would be without either or, or any of them. My stepmom, my mom, my dad, my mother-in-law. It's just like, I love them so much. So my mother-in-law and my mom are both Leos and I love that. You definitely can feel the energy. Anyways, we're back to talk about the fact that Kyle Richards feels completely humiliated and Taylor Armstrong is about to, hum well, humiliate Shannon Bedore. Um, we're going to get into all of it before we do smash that like button, show some love. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Also, don't forget that. Thank you to roseforever.com for sponsoring our studio. You can see that they hooked a brother up. Okay. And in doing so, they gave us a 20% off link for all of you guys. So I'm going to pin that in the description and comment section. They last over a year. They smell absolutely delicious. My studio smells like floral heaven and yeah. Let's go. Yes. Somebody asked me, how, Adam, I am so curious how you got a pizza roll burn on your arm, your forearm, which Jason asked me. Um, why do you tell people everything? Why do you tell people about your tooth and your arm? And I'm like, I just want to be transparent. I don't care. He's like, you don't have to tell people everything. I'm like, whatever. Like, what is the worst it's going to do? So I was just for anybody who's asking, I was pulling the thing out and it was hot and then the oven closed and I didn't have actual hot pads. So I was using a, a towel. And then when I pulled it out, the towel got stuck in the oven when the oven door closed. And I was like sitting there trying to yank it. So I went to open the oven and pulled the thing towards me with the pizza rolls on it. And it caught my arm. That's how it happened. Shit. I know. Let's get into this. <laughs> Thank you to Reality Blurb. Kyle Richards was reportedly humiliated when photos of Mauricio Umansky kissing the much younger Nikita Khan hit the web last month amid their ongoing separation. Now, according to a new report, Mauricio was hoping to get back together with Kyle until, well, she came across pictures of him and Nikita showing off their relationship in Mykonos, Greece, and promptly removed wife from her Instagram bio and reunited with her rumored flame Morgan Wade in Minnesota. Kyle said she felt humiliated, is what a source told Life and Style on August 5th. She believed Mauricio was gallivanting in public with this young chippy to show her what she's missing. But this was the end of the marriage right there. Now, although Kyle was alleg allegedly done at the sight of Mauricio kissing another woman, a friend of the estranged couple suggested that Mauricio felt it was fair for him to seek companionship since Kyle has shared cuddled up photos of her and Morgan. It's really grinding Mauricio's gears seeing Kyle play this are they are are they not lovers guessing game with Morgan to draw attention to herself. Meanwhile, the fact is that Mauricio had really hoped their marriage would fall back into place, but he figured he was a sucker letting grass grow under his feet while Kyle took her time making up her mind. Now, I guess he has forced her hand and he doesn't feel bad about it one bit. But as Kyle reportedly grows increasingly annoyed by Mauricio's new romance with Nikita, who's a model and actress, she's been staying busy filming the upcoming season of Beverly Hills, recently traveling to St. Lucia, where they showed off in these little outfits. And she showed off her fit frame in a bikini selfie. She shared that to her Instagram story. But as Beverly Hills fans may have seen, Kyle celebrated two years of alcohol-free living last month with a post on her Instagram page in which she admitted that going two weeks without drinking once seemed impossible. I'm proud of the fact that I've had the willpower to stay on this path. And I know many people would love for me to start drinking again, even friends with the best of intentions. Everyone loved Party Kyle. I think that was the hardest part of all of this, the resistance from others, the old me, the people pleaser did struggle with that aspect of it. And I realized 
right away that I wasn't going to have a ton of encouragement. But my mental and physical health became a lot more important to me than feeling like I had to be on at a party or social setting. And I'm not going to lie, the fact that I looked better because I wasn't drinking was also an incentive to not veer from the road I'm on. But the real reward is how I feel on the inside. I just want to say too, um, anybody who is trying to veer you off of any health journey that you're on, if you are not drinking, you feel better, you feel like you are collecting yourself and you feel like you're a better person for your family. Oh God, why am I getting emotional about this shit? This isn't even... I think it's because I've dealt with this in my family. Let people do what they want. You know, like if she feels better, it's not even about her physical appearance, but how she feels on the inside. And that, if that makes her feel better on the inside, not drinking, then that makes her a better mom. That makes her a better partner. That makes her a better lot of things because she's not impaired. So that shouldn't be something that people are questioning. And if people are questioning it and she gives you a big fat F off, I agree with her. I do. Let's get to this shit. TasteTheReality.com. Mm. Bravo TV personality Taylor Armstrong explained how Shannon Bedore both ghosted her and is an energy vampire. Yeah, I'm going to play you a clip. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you, thank you to Bravo Snarkside. Interesting because one of my OC housewife friends was getting out of her car behind me and I haven't heard from her in quite some time and I have actually have been really hurt over it. So when I saw her, she said, oh my God, how are you? You know, act excited to see me. And I said, actually, I'm hurt. Yeah. And you hurt my feelings. So. She was going through a really dark time mm -hmm. in a roller coaster relationship. And you and I have both been there. So I want to be supportive of my friends and everything they do, but especially in a situation like that. So I was her go-to call morning, mm -hmm. noon, night, middle of the night, you know, just as many times as I could be there. And I know that that is who you are. Like you're always that friend that answers the phone at any time. I know. I know. Yeah. And I, but I want to be, because I know there was a time when I needed that. And so it was, it was meant from love and friendship. And then when her life changed and all of a sudden everything was different for her and she didn't need me any longer, crickets. I haven't heard a single word from her. And it's so hurtful to me. Mm -hmm. And one of our other um, OC Housewives friends had said to me, you just wait and see. The minute that she doesn't need you anymore, you won't hear from her. And I thought that's impossible because we're on the phone three, four mm -hmm. times a day for hours listening to her cry and trying to support her. And there's no way she's just going to drop off the face of the earth. And I'll be damned if that exact same thing did not happen to me. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. I know. And she was... I feel as though she was kind of taken aback, but it's been a long time and she just dropped me like a hot potato. And I, she said, oh, well, I'm sorry. And I said, well, you hurt me. You hurt my feelings. And I think part of that is just the time investment mm -hmm. that went into it and really putting my heart into her problems and empathizing and listening. And I want to do that for all my friends as you and I do with one another all the time. Right. But I re I expect reciprocation. What was talking to one of my other friends about it and they said, oh, that's because she's an energy vampire, oh. which was a new term. Okay. Not energy vampire, girl. Oof. Take the wind out of my sails and deflate my balloon. Oh, God. I don't know. Made myself my nose all itchy and shit. Um, I want to hear what you guys think. Pop off in the comment section, especially about Kyle. Does she have the right to feel humiliated? I have lots of questions to which lots of answers, but pop off in the comment section, please. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in just a little bit. Love you guys. Bye.